Welcome to this introduction to the Floor Joist module in StruckCalc. To activate this module, click the eighth icon on the toolbar. This module allows you to design floor joists with one, two, or three spans, including the option to have cantilevers at either or both ends. You can design joists using all the different members available in StruckCalc, including solid sawn, glue lamps, structural composites, eye joists, steel shapes, and tube steel. On each span you have the ability to add up to two wall loads. This can account for loads from walls that are bearing over the joists that are perpendicular to the joists. In addition, you can have a partially distributed uniform load on each of the three spans. An example of the situation would be where you have an office loading of 50 pounds per square foot on a joist span and a corridor loading of 100 pounds per square foot on a portion of that span. There is an input box to put in a code required concentrated load on the joist span. This puts a load on the span, for example, 2,000 pounds for office loading and distributes it over a 30 inch by 30 inch square on the most critical design location of the joist spans and determines if it may control the design of the joist. I will recall the design of a joist that I have saved in my project manager. I have a joist supported at three bearing points with spans of 12 feet and 10 feet. This is an office load with a floor live load of 50 pounds per square foot. I will use the default dead load of 15 pounds per square foot. I have also added two separate wall loads on these spans. I'm going to choose solid sawn dug fir number two, two by 10 at 16 inches on center. At this point, make sure you have bracing applied to the bottom of the joist. Then I will calculate the adequacy. Here it shows my floor joist is adequate by 28.6%. You can verify the loading on this member by clicking the loading diagram button in the navigation toolbar. You can view the shear, moment, and deflection diagrams by clicking the VMD diagram button on the toolbar. You can also determine what the shear, moment, and deflections are at any location on this beam by typing in a location and hitting the calculate button. You can now print the analysis by pushing the print button or you can see a print preview by clicking the print preview button on the navigation toolbar. As you can see, the printout provides a complete summary of the design of this floor joist, including a loading diagram of the joist. That concludes this quick review of the floor joist module. Thank you for watching this video.